It's with eager anticipation that we are waiting the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We celebrate, we're on Saturday and Sunday is on its way. And it's his irreplaceable sacrifice that makes his love so irresistible to us. And so he is, we are eagerly awaiting um, his second coming and his return as well. And we wanna be a bride ready and waiting. I wanna take this opportunity on 2021, the day before Resurrection Sunday, to let you know that there are some children who are irreplaceable to the heart of God that are eagerly awaiting um, simple things like food. As you know, um, I'm a mama to a community in Uganda called Kabali. So a mama and a grandma uh, to many of these children. And when COVID hit, many of them were suffering greatly. And um, many of you responded. So we have not seen one of those sweet babies that have irreplaceable value in the heart of God. Not one of them lost to hunger, um, without water, food. Um, they've had everything that they've needed. Uh, recently, though, many, for whatever reason, we need to pray for the community, have suffered loss of many parents. So we have a lot of orphans right now. And <clears throat> on one of our outreaches, Mr. Collins, uh, Saturday, who is the president and director of God's Favorite School, he was heading up the outreach that we sponsored, and many of you did, and a voice started calling out to him. So this young man, nine years old, found out Mr. Collins' name and would call out for him. In the last outreach they did, he called out for them. They were out um, about three weeks ago, and they were um, handing out food, praying with people. Also, in the last year, they've seen a revival, like revival fire, and there have been hundreds saved. Um, every walks of life have come to know the Lord, the young, the old. Also, um, so on this outreach, Mr. Collins was walking and he found the boy who knew his name. And this last one, about two weeks ago, Derek told Mr. Collins, will you please come to my house? Mr. Collins did. And when he found out, it was actually Derek's house. His mom had died recently and his dad had abandoned them. He was a drunkard. And he's a nine-year-old little boy and he has three small siblings. I'm going to include a picture um, with this video as well. And then you can, can see. So I the kids, uh, there's Derek, there's Elijah, Glory, and Gift. And I, they look about five, maybe three, and a year and a half years old and he's scrounging for food to find them. Unfortunately, this is what is happening in this area that is experiencing great spiritual revival, but their parents are sick or on drugs or, or not available. So we want to be the hands and feet of Christ. We want to live sacrificially and reach out to them. As you know, I'm on the board for Go Overflow, which is an amazing organization. And they have been so faithful in um, getting the funds where it needed. Mr. Collins has been incredibly impeccable and accountable on the funding that's been sent. And we've seen firsthand what that food um, has done for that community. So again, I am asking again on behalf of these children, if you would pray about praying for them, first of all, and secondly, if you would be willing to give um, to the least of these. They are wanting to do a spring outreach and their goal is $4,500. And I know that sounds like a lot, but to the Lord it's not. And this would reach not just God's favor students, which there's 300 of them and their families, it's gonna reach the entire community. And when they bring the food, they share the gospel faithfully. They pray for people. They've seen healings, they've seen all kinds of miracles. They've seen food multiply. That was huge um, on one of their outreaches. They only had enough for 250 and ended up feeding 500 miraculously. 
So I just really want to implore you to pray. And if the Lord says, just pray, uh, or if he says, give $5, um, the organization is called gooverflow.com. And you can look them up and find God's favor school. And that's where you would donate. And I pray that you have an amazing Resurrection Sunday. And I love you because I know if you're watching this, you probably know us. And from the whole Simmons crew, thank you for taking time to listen. We love you and we pray that you have a wonderful Resurrection Sunday and that you are eagerly anticipating the coming of our Lord and that you stay so close and abide in him. He is the giver of joy and life and he's worthy 